when a person comes, like they're, they're sitting on their couch, they know they need to exercise. They might not want to exercise. That's the key. They don't want to exercise, but they know they need to. Maybe they've gotten some medical advice. Maybe they've got some medical news where exercise is going to help improve whatever the situation is. Maybe they have a certain goal and they know that they need exercise. They know they need strength training for their heart, for their lungs, for their joints, for their entire body to help them in their life. But where do they go? Where can they go where they don't feel intimidated? And they're always glad you came. Because I'm going to let you know right now, living and growing up in the gyms that I've grown up in, I know why they're intimidating for a lot of people. I know why people feel kind of ashamed going there and that they don't feel like they, they fit in. So we don't want to do that to people. Because if they don't feel like they fit into an environment, what are they going to do? They're probably not going to go back to that environment. So we want to make sure that we have an environment that is it's open, it's welcomed, it's inviting. You want to be where you can see the troubles are all the same. It's the place that you actually want to return to. <laughs> I think we've done this really well at Fitness Lying Down. Because I like to tell people that we take what we do very seriously. There's no doubt. People entrust us with their fitness needs, with their strength needs, with their movement needs. That's a tall order. We need to make sure that we can deliver. But even though we take what we do very seriously, we don't really take ourselves seriously. I mean, case in point, we actually have a picture of Mr. Miyagi on our wall. But that doesn't happen in every gym. There's a lot of more laughter in this gym than there is grunts and groans. There's a lot of hugging that goes on to this gym. So many high fives. Like what an environment that somebody would want to come into. Sometimes you wanna go. It's not about exercises, it really isn't. It's about people and it's about relationships and to build trust. As I mentioned, so many people trust us with their movement needs. They expect us to help them. Because back in the day, people would walk into the gym because they wanted to improve their muscle tone. They wanted to see the muscles in their biceps. They wanted to see six-pack abs. They wanted to tone up. Nowadays, people are walking into gyms. Why? Because they don't want their shoulders to hurt anymore. They want that low back pain, that low back discomfort to go away. They don't want their knees to be achy all the time. So there's been a big paradigm shift in why people are coming to the gym. But there hasn't necessarily been a paradigm shift in what, how the gyms are accepting these people. We're still putting them on the training floor. We're still expecting that they're like us, that they would love to exercise, that they want to get blasted every session, that they want to be sore for days. Well, I found out a lot of those people coming in, they actually don't want to be sore. They want to leave the gym feeling better than when they came in. Sure, there's that euphoric high where you feel like you've survived an exercise session and you're just happy to have done it and there's a sense of accomplishment. That's genuine. That's understandable. But there's also that physical, like, do you have to pop some Advil, ibuprofen after your session to help with stiffness, soreness, inflammation? Can you not successfully sit on the toilet and go to the bathroom because you're so sore? That's not acceptable. I like to tell everybody, anyone can make you tired but not everyone can make you better. All it takes is mindlessness to make somebody tired. But to actually meet a client where they're at, especially on their first session, and to give them exactly what they need, the right amount of dosage, so we're not going too much in volume, we're not going too heavy in load, and we're giving them appropriate exercises to start their fitness journey, to start their exercise journey, that takes finesse. That's where we take the T out of fitness, and we just go, finesse. So our major goal for anybody that comes into our gym is to make sure that they had a successful session, that they feel good about what they did, and that they want to come back. Not that they have to come back. They want to come back and do more. You want to be where everybody knows your name. That right there is where the rubber hits the road. And that's why we have so much fun here at Fitness Lined Out. Because guess what? Fun and fitness both start with the letter F. It is not a coincidence. Until the next time, you're welcome.